With Christmas just around the corner and in the spirit of giving, rather than showing you how to make some flapjacks today, I thought I'd just show you how to do a beautiful gift by putting all of the ingredients in a jar. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So we've got a gorgeous old vintage jar here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a cup of flour and then I'm going to layer. So it's all about layering and you can add and take some of these ingredients or add other things, it doesn't really matter. So I've got some chopped apricots. And then I've got about a half a cup of coconut, which has covered the colour up a little bit, but that's okay. And then I've got some raisins. Now this is a really great gift idea for people that love sweet treats, but maybe don't have the time to bake it. Then they've got it all in there and it just needs to go in the bowl and get mixed up. So next I've got some oats, about a cup of oats. And I've got these beautiful little barberries here just to add a little bit of colour and a bit of zing to the flapjacks. Some dried oranges. Now, these are a little bit hard to find in the shop sometimes, but they're really easy to do yourself. Put those in there. Love those colours. I'm actually going to put a little bit more coconut in there. and finish it off with some more brown sugar. Just to pack it all in there nicely. See those beautiful layers in there? And then, pop on a lid. Got some gorgeous old vintage material here. Tie it up with a ribbon. So, my special flapjacks in a jar, what a perfect present. But if you did want to take the time to actually make the flapjacks, this is how you do it. So, all of the ingredients that I've already told you about, from the jar, into a mixing bowl, and then I've got 150 grams of melted butter that's been melted with a tablespoon of golden syrup and two tablespoons of honey. You can do that in the microwave or over the stove top. So I'm just gonna put that in there, mix it all up, smells gorgeous. So that's about the consistency you want it to be at. Mixed well and a little bit wet but not too sloppy. And the great thing about this recipe is you could use any of your own recipes. You could use chocolate cake, banana cake, whatever you want you can put it in a jar but remember you have to give them the wet ingredients as well. So all I'm going to do is put it in a baking tray that's been lined. All in there. Press that down, get it all in there, lick the spoon later. Look how pretty that looks with all those colours of the berries and the sultanas and the apricots. And then you're going to put it in the oven at about 180 for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it gets golden brown and you can smell it wifting out of the oven. So that's been in the oven for about 20 minutes at 180 and it just smells so gorgeous. So I'm going to resist eating it so I can give it as my gift. I'm going to just break it up. I'm not going to bother chopping it up. I'm just going to break it into big chunks and put it in my jar here. And any of the leftovers that fall off, you can just put it in a bowl and eat it with your yogurt in the morning. Delightful. And this will last in the jar for about two weeks if you can resist eating it, of course, because it's nice and airtight. So there we've got the cooked flapjacks in a jar or the mix in a jar. And you can go to the Love to Share website to get all of these recipes and more.